Hello everyone. Welcome back to Spoken English Video Lessons by Arrow Publications. I'm your Spoken English Trainer Padmini and in today's video lesson we are going to talk about a very beautiful tense called the present perfect tense. The use of the present perfect tense makes your language sound very beautiful. So let's get started. The present perfect tense is formed by using the subject with have, has and the past participle form of the verb. Well, you may wonder what the past participle form of a verb is. It is the third form of the verb. For example, if you take the verb eat, the past form of eat is ate. And the past participle form of eat is eaten. And this is also called the third form of the verb. And this is the form that is used in the present perfect tense. Well, all the verbs have these forms and you can try and learn the different forms of a verb. Once you know the third form of the verb, you combine it with have or has and make the present perfect tense. The negative structure is formed by using subject plus have not or has not plus the past participle form of the verb. And the question form or the interrogative form is formed by using have or has plus the subject plus the past participle form of the verb. The most important thing in this tense is that you have to use the past participle form or the third form of the verb only with have or has. And the next most important rule is that you cannot use any time expressions. Instead of time expressions, you can use some indicators like just, recently, already, before, so far, ever, never, yet, since, for, once, twice, etc. Or you can also use two times, three times, etc. But never the specific time expressions. Time expressions in the sense the exact time or the exact year or maybe the exact month or the day of the week. You cannot use a specific time expression with the present perfect tense. Now, I am sure you are all set to learn about the uses of the present perfect tense. The present perfect tense can be used for many, many things. And they are simply interesting, very, very interesting. So let's get started. The first use of present perfect tense is to talk about just completed actions. Now, let's look at some examples. He is taking a shower, which means he is in the process of taking the shower. But when you say it in present perfect tense, you say he has just taken a shower. He has just taken a shower. That means he has just finished. It's a just completed action. He is eating breakfast. That means he's still eating. He's in the process of eating. But if you say he has just eaten breakfast, that means... He has just finished this action and this is in present perfect tense. The next example, he's going out and he has gone out. That means he has just gone out. This is in present perfect tense. The next example is about recently completed actions. We can use this for just completed actions. Now the second use is for recently completed actions. Actions that you have completed in the last few weeks, just a few weeks ago and so on. We have recently moved into our new house. We have recently moved into our new house. That means it's a recently completed action. He has recently completed graduation. He has recently completed graduation. He has visited Delhi recently. That means recently he visited this place. I have got a job recently. And now she has given birth to a baby girl recently. They have repaired the roads recently. 
Look at all these sentences. They talk about the recently completed actions. Now let's move on to the next use of present perfect tense. It's about achievements. When you're talking about achievements that have happened to some team or some people, we use the present perfect tense. India has won two World Cups so far. So far means till now. It can win some more, but till now, so far, it has won two World Cups. This is an achievement. Man has landed on the moon. So this is an achievement. The baby has learned to walk. This is an achievement for the baby. My English has improved. This is an achievement for you. The film has won an Oscar. This is an achievement for the film. Scientists have found a cure for many diseases. This is an achievement for the scientists. And now the next use is about experiences. When you want to talk about experiences in your life, we use the present perfect tense. But we don't mention the time. He has traveled to many foreign countries. So he has the experience of having seen many foreign countries. He has served in the army for many years. So he has the experience of having served in the army. We have visited many historical places in India. So this is our, our experience. She has sung songs in different languages. She has sung songs in different languages. So here the singer has sung songs in different languages. I have trained many students. So I'm a trainer. So I have trained many students. This is my experience. He has acted in many Bollywood films. This is an achievement. And now we talk about changes and developments in present perfect tense. Now, when you want to talk about changes and developments, you say the fuel prices have gone up. This is a development. This is a change. Technology has improved. Technology has improved. And then lifestyle has changed. Lifestyle has changed for many people, most of the people. So this is a change or a development. Education system has changed. So many places, in many schools and colleges, education has become digitalized. So education system has changed. And now you can also say, my children have grown up. This is a change. Crimes have increased. So over a period of time, crimes have increased. Now, let's look at the next use of uh, uh, present perfect tense, arrangements. When you want to talk about arrangements that you have made, you can use the present perfect tense. Let's look at some examples. We have booked the tickets. So you have made arrangements for your travel. They have made all the arrangements, probably for a wedding. And the next one, we have done shopping for the festival. I have saved money for my future. These are all arrangements that you have made. The government has arranged special buses for the pilgrims. We have decorated the house for Christmas. So we have decorated the house means Christmas is coming and we have decorated the house. All these talk about the arrangements that we have made. Now we come to the negative and interrogative forms of the present perfect tense. Let's look at some examples. I have done the work. I have not done the work. Have you done the work? We have seen the movie. We have not seen the movie. Have you seen the movie? He has passed the exam. He has not passed the exam. Has he passed the exam? Our team has won the match. Our team has not won the match. Has your team won the match? So these are examples of how you can make negative sentences and the interrogative sentences in present perfect tense. So I hope you have understood that present perfect tense is a really beautiful tense that you can use for many, many things. Pick up a notebook, a pencil or a pen and make as many sentences as possible in the present perfect tense in all its forms, affirmative, 
negative and interrogative. Think of all the just completed actions, the recently completed actions, achievements of people or your own self or experiences or even some arrangements that you have made, some changes and developments that have taken place around you and you will be able to practice this tense and get more fluent at using this. Using the present perfect tense is a mark of fluency. So I'm sure you will practice and gain fluency in using this tense and make your English sound more beautiful and more natural. Thank you very much for watching. I'll come back with many more interesting videos. Until then, goodbye.